this noise is shown at 10 megahertz at 1 dBm sorry 0 dBm input uh, 1 milliwatt into 50 ohms I'm going to change the frequency up to 50 megahertz and you can see there's still noise Now at this level, I'm going to change the sampling depth. If I can remember how. Go to the highest resolution and I see no change. It's ten mega sample. And back to ten mega sample. And again, this is at 50 megahertz. I'm going to go up to 60. And again, plenty of noise. Now for fun, let's go down to 1 megahertz. And I see plenty of noise right there. I'm going to dial this back, this time base. And to me, this looks at 1 megahertz, nearly identical to the display at 10 megahertz. And let's continue down, say to 100 kilohertz. Again, there's more noise. So we adjust the display uh, sample length to a thousand points, ten thousand, hundred thousand, one mega sample, ten mega samples. I do see somewhat of a difference between 1,000 1, samples per second and the rest, but not significant. Okay, I'm going to bring this back up to 60 megahertz. Actually, before we do that, let's go down to 10 kilohertz. Okay, scratch that. The lowest this generator will go is 300 kilohertz. So we'll go to 1 megahertz. Twenty megahertz. Go 
40. Let's try that again. 40 megahertz. Fifty, sixty, seventy, eighty, ninety megahertz, one hundred. and 200 megahertz. You can see falls off quite rapidly above 60 megahertz. Power output is 1 milliwatt. That's 0 dBm. Let's see if we can get a signal by increasing the vertical amplifier. And no, we're down in the noise. The cables, most likely, the cable in the uh, Input filter circuit are eating that signal.